one question I think a lot of people have right now, you know, because many people have obviously left the sort of Western theistic traditions of their youth and headed off toward Eastern paths uh, because they kind of couldn't buy into all the sort of fairy tales that were expected to be taken literally. Um, and then they were surprised to find much of that, the same kind of fairy tales running through the Buddhist lore. So, so should, do you feel that Buddhism should evolve away from its more mythic elements as we're you know, moving into this postmodern and, and beyond kind of I don't know if it should. I mean, it is. Hmm. Um, you know, history will decide and already has decided, as far as I can tell. Hmm. Western or uh, modern Buddhism is much less cosmological and myth- mythological and more practice-oriented and psychologically astute rather than belief or ritual-oriented and, and so on. Um, and But on the other hand, all of these elements are common to the world religions. And the, for the, the general populace of Buddhists, they're praying over there to the big statue, and uh, of course, you know, true Buddhists understand the inner meaning of that. But generally, all over the world, all the religions are the same. It's like a pyramid, where at the base is the greatest number of people, and that's very exoteric religion, externally oriented. And as you ascend towards the peak, we get towards the transformative mysticism, where um, it seems most of or all of the mystics and sages throughout the ages agree. On the other hand, we could say that nothing really changes, that the work is preservation and adaptation, preserving the purest essence that has no real form and adapting it to different forms. Let me give you an example which will not be foreign to you. Um, like meditation is usually thought of as something we do with our legs crossed and our eyes closed and sitting quietly. But it's really a gesture of awareness, so it can be done in any posture. You don't have to sit with your legs crossed on the floor in the uh, squatting Indian position. You can do it in a chair. You can do it standing up. And by extension, walking, meditation, or any other way where you apply intentional awareness or mindfulness to the present moment. So in that way, maintain the essence of the meditation without necessarily the physical form. And in this way, adaptation as well as preservation goes hand in hand. It's not preservation versus adaptation, as some uh, early critics or traditionalists were very concerned about, as the old world religions and schools of Buddhism had their encounter with modernity, with the Western world and modern times in the last 50 to 100 years. So you're saying the essence can be preserved even as the form evolves? Yes, just as different candles burn down, but the flame can be passed from candle to candle. The essence of the spiritual fire of the inner light goes on, even though the candles may have different shapes or colors.